Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today's a really big day because a couple announcements just broke that could have a huge impact on the gaming industry. I also think AMD may have given us a bit more info than they meant to and they released a demo of their hardware ray tracing. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first Drop made items. Head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and let's just get right to it. Just yesterday, Microsoft announced a new API called DirectX 12 Ultimate. Now, if you're wondering, it's still called DirectX 12 because it isn't a ground up change. Instead, it's a lot of little additions that NVIDIA introduced with their Turing GPUs like variable rate shading and mesh shaders, as well as the accumulation of technologies like DXR, which is DirectX ray tracing. But with that said, it isn't a small update at all. I honestly think it's set to be one of their biggest and most industry shaking updates in a long time, and not even necessarily because of these new features. It's more so the massive push that it does on the ray tracing front. Let me explain. DirectX 12 Ultimate adds two things that have the potential to really change things. For one is the push in unifying the upcoming Xbox Series X and PC. Basically, Microsoft is promising much better overlap between the two platforms, so it should be much easier to port, especially from one console to AMD's GPUs since they're the same graphics architecture. And this is really good for both console and PC, since easier ports mean devs have time to add better scalability to the PC ports and just make them better in general. Or they just release them sooner. More hardware that supports new features like ray tracing also means devs have a much higher incentive to add it to their games. The other thing they're doing, which is likely more of a negative because it can confuse people and everything using one API wouldn't necessarily be that great either, but basically they're going to add literal stickers to GPUs that support the new API. That means GPUs that fully support DXR, so hardware specific for ray tracing, etc. And if they do that to the games as well, that would obviously give game devs a good incentive. And for those wondering, Microsoft did want to make it clear that DirectX 12 Ultimate does still support older GPUs, even if it doesn't have that sticker. They just won't get the newest features like hardware ray tracing. Now, with this brought some other announcements, like AMD stating that their RDNA 2 based GPUs will fully support DirectX 12 Ultimate, which actually has some implications that I don't think AMD meant to give away just yet. If we go back to the recent stream that AMD had for their financial analyst day, remember that the speaker said this. And we'll take that 2x stack across the, over time across the entire top to bottom lineup for, for graphics. Okay, so if we take that and look here where it says, quote, we will provide full support for DirectX 12 Ultimate in our upcoming AMD RDNA 2 gaming architecture. And then take the fact that RDNA 2 will be a full product stack. It sounds to me like all of AMD's next gen GPUs will fully support hardware ray tracing. I mean, if it's RDNA 2, it's said to fully support DirectX 12 Ultimate. And they even included the logo there like a sticker. And sure, it said hardware ray tracing right here, but that didn't necessarily mean all of RDNA 2. Maybe they won't go all that far down the product stack and just keep some of the RX 5000 cards like the RX 5600 XT. I, I don't know, but it's clear that AMD is getting serious about hardware ray tracing as they actually just released their first trailer with it. As you can see, it's done with DXR 1.1, which is the updated DXR in DirectX 12 Ultimate and means that it's done with hardware ray tracing. Oh, and there's that sticker. As far as the trailer itself, it definitely looks pretty good. The reflections are out of this world, that's for sure. Lastly, not to leave out NVIDIA, the company has also announced full support for DirectX 12 Ultimate, which I think is really good because it means a single API can support NVIDIA's ray tracing technology as well as AMD's. Basically, at the end of the day, it's becoming more and more clear that ray tracing is the future, whether we like it or not. Unfortunately, that also means we'll have to pay a bit extra for those ray tracing cores, but at least support should increase drastically. That or no one likes it, no one really supports it, and AMD and Nvidia will give up in the next couple generations. So while that does it for today, what do you think about the future of ray tracing? Is it here to stay or is it gaming's version of 3D TVs? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, please subscribe, and as always, have a great day.